Salim Barariu from the Money Channel in uh, Romania. If uh, Deutsche Telekom is uh, still interested in uh, buying shares in, in OK. Um, as you know, it was not only the 25.1% we acquired, we, still the Greek government could place a 5% put option and afterwards a 10% put option, um, which if they do it, we, our stake would increase. And as you've seen, we wanted to have a management control and a long-term partnership. So we, in this case, um, are really interested in the stake in the company, uh, but no comment on further share buys from any other minorities or somebody else. Uh, it's also got this from Wiki Telecom Greece. Uh, we have heard several times that uh, Opte and uh, those Telecom Group's yeah. uh, synergies yeah. will bring uh, cost savings of about 2.2 billion euros. Can you give us some more details of how this will happen? Yes, uh, what, what we already said, uh, this is around a run rate of around 200 million a year, 60% capex, 40% around opex savings. We expect 60% will be in the mobile area, 40% in the fixed area. We're going to be, I mean, we started the work streams to find out what it is in IT procurement rather recently. We're going to be a bit more specific when we have our Q1 announcement in May. Yeah, the only area would be procurement or there will be some other areas? No, but procurement is obviously a big part. Mastalino Suzonis from Crema Magazine in Greece. Uh, although OTE now is a part of the Deutsche Telekom Group, it's still a listed company on the Athens Stock Exchange with other shareholders. So I would like you to give us uh, information about how you handle your relationships, the relationship between Deutsche Telekom and OTE. For example, you interconnect your networks. How does that work out? How do you each uh, uh, assign costs to each other, is this an arm's length procedure, if this generates synergies, and also, for example, the technology of uh, Deutsche Telekom, we've seen a, a demonstration here, are you going to pay royalties uh, to apply this in the OTEC group, and generally speaking, uh, how is this going to, to play out? And I think this should be public information, because this is a public company and I think you are a public company too. Let me say a few words about this. Um, at Deutsche Telekom we have a lot of experience doing this with publicly listed companies. As you know, we also have a similar situation in Magyar Telecom, in Croatia Telecom. Uh, and so therefore this is not new to us that we have to deal with a company that is publicly listed but we have an operating control of the company. Uh, in all cases, um, there is no shift of value from one company to the next or there is no cases where we burden the company with additional costs or royalties. In all cases, we try to create synergies so the shareholders benefit. Um, there is no intent to force anything to OTE or any of the companies beyond what they would be able to justify and, and clearly demonstrate and uh, exhibit publicly that has been a value add to the company. In the case of the interconnect, for instance, both companies benefit from having a direct connection and uh, you know, we clearly always try to establish the best market rates and most attractive situation, but the account keeping is done very clearly. There is no uh, you know, convoluted account keeping in order to sh shift value from one company to the next. Very straightforward. Um, our philosophy of product innovation for our, our company, now when I say our company, I'm talking about our joint companies, is that uh, we always try to pass as much innovation and products that we have to, to, to the rest of the company without charging additional fees. There might be pass-through fees that things have to be, for instance, if Deutsche Telecom makes a content deal, uh, and this content deal has to be also extended to, uh, because of the scale, through Deutsche Telecom a deal may be uh, made so that subsidiaries can also benefit from. Um, then, obviously, we, we have pass-through pricing. But uh, Deutsche Telecom is not in the business of making additional royalties and and revenues from his uh, subsidy, comp subsidy companies. I'm Mihaela Filip from Business Standard, Romania. Uh, I wanted to ask you how long it will take for you to start thinking a uh, strategy for each country that OTA is present in the southeastern Europe because each country has uh, uh, particularities that uh, are you, you are not uh, aware of now in, uh, in Germany or in other markets. 
uh, and uh, if the, the, this implies uh, naming some people in the boards of management of each company in uh, each country. Uh, be more specific. Look, we, we have done this in, in a number of countries at Deutsche Telekom with T-Mobile, from U.S. as Mr. Gekhoff showed, from U.S. to to uh, Croatia, Macedonia, Montenegro. Uh, we've already done this, uh, and all of our companies are involved. Uh, uh, we don't treat the companies as first class, second class, or third class citizens. They're all involved in our management, and we clearly uh, include all of our top management. You know, the same thing will over time happen. Uh, with OTE and consulting in all the different countries. Uh, I don't know if you want to add it to it. This is one of the reasons why they put me on the board and said yes for that reason. We have so many smaller countries with uh, uh, specialties for each of the countries. And this is one of the challenges that they gave me to come up, get it done, and uh, uh, get, get a strategy for the whole region dealing with all that. And I think we can do it together. It's a pretty strong region. Emiliano from Mani.ro, Romania. What will be the direct involvement of Deutsche Telekom in uh, ma management of uh, Rome Telecom and Cosmote Romania? It must be made clear that uh, Rome Telecom, like Nobul, like uh, our Albanian subsidiaries, are all subsidiaries of Hotel. They are not direct subsidiaries of Rome Telecom, of, uh, of Deutsche Telekom. Therefore, Whatever uh, involvement of Deutsche Telekom is going to happen, and of course there is going to be happen, and it will be very welcome to have an involvement in this subsidiary, it will have to come through the Greek uh, mother company. Apostolos Komnos from Mobile News. I would like to have a question to Mr. Kerko. How big will be your new department, and if you are going to use any Greek stuff? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm still developing that one. We have a project that is going on for, for the first half of the year. Um, as you might have read, uh, it's going to be effective 1st of July. Uh, there's a new structure, so I'm working on it. Um, we have a lot of, as you've seen, uh, with the COO organization, we have a lot of synergies and a lot of um, things that are already there for uh, a lot of parts. So I don't think it's going to be a huge increase uh, what we will have. Oh, I, I would uh, really love to an exchange. If you look, no, 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 no. Um, to be honest, what we've seen in our personnel development, what we're trying to do is to get an exchange of people anywhere in the world and get it around. So if you don't have local people, you will never get the real local flavor. And therefore, I'm really looking forward to get an international team.